It's the month of November, and what better way to celebrate our independence than with traditional cuckoo and fish. Today we are at Fisherman's Pub in Spitestown, St. Peter, and we're going to learn how to make this amazing delicacy. So let's go. Fisherman's Pub is more than just a restaurant and bar. This Bayesian landmark is embedded in the fabric of Spitestown, St. Peter, and it's a place where lifelong friendships and memories are made. Patrons can count on the menu to provide them with a variety of authentic Barbadian dishes. What was once a rum shop has since evolved into a place that returning nationals, tourists and locals flock to for a satisfyingly delicious food and the vibrant personality of its current custodian, Mr. Clement Armstrong. All of these factors make Fisherman's Pub the perfect place for us to learn all about Cuckoo, the national dish of Barbados. We're here in the kitchen at Fisherman's Pub with the man behind it all, Mr. Clement Armstrong and his right-hand man, yeah. Mr. Akio Collins, yes? Yes, please. So they're going to show us how to make Cuckoo and Flying Fish. Mr. Armstrong, tell us what we've got here. Well, this is the ingredients that we have that we are fishermen's pub because we are not chefs, we are cooks. And we try to do it our grandparents' way or our parents' way. My mother showed me how to do the cuckoo and, I, and I'm one here doing it. Because of COVID, mm -hmm. you find me in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I used to be more oriented with the tourists and the guests, or all the locals. First tell us what is cuckoo. Let's hear it's corn, it's corn, corn meal. It, don't know what is cuckoo. It's corn that you grain, it's corn and, and into a meal. Mm -hmm. And it's, it was in Barbados, it, we could say in Barbados, um, menu or uh, appetite for years. Mm -hmm. Then we soak our cuckoo. So soak it yield more. We soak it like this. Because in business you need to yield. We want it to yield so we can get as much as possible. We so add, how long has it been soaking for? Yeah, it's a, a specific time, you know, according to it. Soak it for 10 minutes, 5 minutes. For us, it's according to the schedule in the kitchen that keeps us going. And the more it soak it fast, it goes. We do, a, we do a, a, a blend of sweet pepper, onions, chive, and we, as, uh, to, to spice up the, the, the cocoa as such. Nice. You, you add salt to taste. Mm -hmm. Well, this is okra, and you form it, it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. What we do, we cut off the, the ends mm -hmm. to make it so that it won't choke you or get in your throat. Yeah. It's a smooth, smooth processed cocoa. Yeah. It should be smooth. So you have no lumps. Mm -hmm. I hope today we'll have no lumps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, no lumps today, then, no then, lumps. then we cut it like this. Once the okras are boiled and softened, keeping about a quarter of the liquid, this okra liquid is placed back into the pot with the soaked cornmeal, stirring with what we like to call a cuckoo stick. And what we stir it because we, we try to get as we talked about lumps before. Yes, you want to get out those lumps. Yeah, get out those lumps and such. So then, now we take, we cover it when it comes to the body again. Ah. When it comes to the body again, then we add the oak crust it and then stir it into a firm body as mm. such. And that's all about cuckoo. Nice. Some technique that Akil has there, man. Yeah, a shoulder. You have to have a shoulder. <laughs> wow. We are about to pour the cuckoo in. We're taking out the cuckoo now in its form. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Yeah. And it smells amazing as well. It's yeah, such basic heard. ingredients. Yeah, basic, very basic. But we add the little herbs to give it a little more flavor. So most people don't add those extra herbs. No. I, I think it's something that we just developed. He called himself a herbal chef. <laughs> <laughs> it's now time to try this beautiful cuckoo and bill fish here at Fisherman's Pub. Thank you again. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. <laughs> Come grab me some cuckoo. And of course some fish. And always some gravy. And there. Mm. 
It's smooth like you said. This is bread. I can taste the fresh seasonings. The fish is lovely and it's gravy. Just makes it perfect. You won me over. That's good. Yeah? So tell us about the history and the beginnings of Fisherman's Pub. Fisherman's Pub actually started in 1968. Then my parents came from Trinidad. After my aunt that raised me, mm -hmm. I'm a Trinidadian born. Really? I came here when I was seven, 1959. Mm -hmm. And I never went back. I came in and just start crying. I just fall in love with my race. Aww. So, and then he, Ray Jean, which is his name that passed away in 1959. He was the heavyweight boxer of my business. Oh. And he started this rum shop in 1936. But my parents came at 68 and they took over. Mm -hmm. And it was named the Sand Shop. Yeah. Because all here was sand. Okay. All behind was sand. Now, the global warning. You can see the difference in losing beaches and everything. So my father called it the fisherman's pub because we, we had over 38 fishing boats. Fishing boats in the place. So after that, that house it gets its name. Then we, we were doing bread and fish, bread and two fish, cheese cutters, mm -hmm. and then we decided to go to food. We failed about three times with it. With food, because people in those days, if they know, we just stand home and learn to cook. <laughs> you know, I've got to be here. So people are afraid to eat out, local people are afraid to eat out. But then my father and sister, where you come from overseas, you need to eat something good. You need some good bitch. So then the menu, the menu just came out around. It was a natural, because we, we, we had other workers that made in, input of making sure that we do certain things on certain days. But, but like, we need to do. Soup on Saturday, start falling lines at home. Mm -hmm. We used to go cuckoo on Wednesdays at our house, stew food on Fridays. Yeah. So it actually comes from my parents' menu that is custom eating. Their home meal. Me, me, and their home menu mm -hmm. that falls into the food. Mm -hmm. So when you come to Barbados, you totally is in home. Mm -hmm. you're, you're actually eating like a Belgian. Yes. You know, and we appreciate that. And a lot of people look forward for it. Mm -hmm. I thank you all again for helping us to, because I try not to. I want people to live the experience, not just. I'm very old fashioned. I like people to come and see and taste, not overseas on the camera and saying, that place looks nice. That helps too. But word of mouth, as you want people yeah. say, do, do work. You definitely thrive with word of mouth for yeah, sure. Yeah. I've heard of it for years growing up on Christmas Club. I've tried it, I love it. And the food is amazing, always. So you're open Mondays to Saturdays, Saturday, yeah. Yeah? yeah. And the menu changes, or is yeah, every day the menu change. Okay. It's cream potato, mm -hmm. and sweet potato, and beef stew. Yeah, we try not to do much beef stew. Mm -hmm. We do stew. That that Monday, Tuesdays, we do um, the peas. is changed too, dry peas. And you do macaroni pie, of course. Macaroni pie, you go every day. Every day. Yeah. Every day. You have to have your macaroni pie, Barbie. And then, well, you ask that question is that you're seasonal. When enough mm -hmm. cassava, and we cook it for having. Ah. When enough sweet potato, and we cook sweet potato. Yes, and then, then bread food as well. Of course, we do slash when enough cook it. Yeah. Bread food, once a thing. So it's strictly a beige, and you must come when you land at Fisherman's Pub. You actually get some beige. Beige food and a beautiful view. But I will let you get the food get cold. Yes. So you enjoy. Yeah. And I get back to the kitchen because you got me running late for this. Today when they get beat for going full late. It's here. my fault guys. Sorry if your food is late today, it's my fault. But it's a good job and it's a good a good effort both of them have done. And I thank you all from the bottom of our heart and from all my family. Oh thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us guys at Fisherman's Pub. You must come here. Spite Stone, St. Peter, bus. Car, walk, you have to come and try the food here at Fishman's Pub. As always, stay safe and I will see you in the next one because I'm about to dig in in this cuckoo and enjoy it. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye.